the, the Weddell Sea uh, is a very remote ocean in Antarctica, um, nearly always covered in sea ice, very remote. Um, when we were sailing there in January, February, uh, there's only one other uh, vessel anywhere near us. The primary aim of the, of the expedition was to do scientific research. A particular focus was on the Larsen C ice shelf. There was a Larsen A and a Larsen B, and both of these ice shelves have collapsed over the last uh, 20, 25 years. So the concern of scientists is that uh, as temperatures are warming, ice shelves further to the south, which should be colder, are now warming up and beginning to disintegrate and uh, disappear. Um, so we want to get to that area, study it. We had a team of biologists. They're a deep sea biologists. They want us to look at the sea floor, and particularly around these ice shelves, um, because when these icebergs break off, uh, there are areas of the sea floor which uh, you've never been able to access before. We also had uh, meteorologists with us, so we're launching uh, meteorological balloons up into the atmosphere to collect temperature data. Because we were in the uh, area, um, we decided that uh, we'd also go and look for, for the endurance as well. It's probably you know, one of the most famous of any shipwrecks in the polar regions. That's because it was owned by a British polar explorer called Sir Ernest Shackleton. What Shackleton wanted to do was to be the first person to cross Antarctica. The ship never got to Antarctica, got within about 100 miles, and then it got stuck in the sea ice. Eventually, they had to abandon the ship. What we wanted to do was to get to the sinking location of the Endurance. Once we got to the wreck location, found lots of open water. It wasn't completely uh, covered in sea ice. So it meant that we were able to put the autonomous underwater vehicle, the AUV, down straight away. An AUV is a free swimming robot, and they would provide the overall reconnaissance that we needed at the seabed. It's going up and down, surveying the seabed, um, collecting all that information a couple of hours communicating back with the vessel to tell us its position um, and then we went to go and find it on the 8th survey line and it had just disappeared. No sign of it whatsoever. So what happens when the vehicle comes to the surface in sea ice is it comes, it basically hits the bottom of the sea ice um, but almost impossible to find. It could well have imaged the wreck uh, but we'll never know because you have to bring the vehicle back to the surface to download the computers. So it could be sitting there with all this amazing data and um, we, we, we don't know. When we were operating, searching for endurance, we would see hundreds and hundreds of seals. So the ship would stop and these seals would gather all around the vessel. Um, seals are very inquisitive things, so it might have been you know, seeing this big red object and wondering what it was. Uh, and then because we'd created these patches of open water, uh, then you'd often find um, minky whales coming and uh, surfacing and breathing in the air holes, basically, that we created. So, but, you know, and that was amazing. Hopefully, uh, in a couple of years' time, we'll have the opportunity to go back, uh, find it, and also find the wreck of the endurance, uh, perhaps in 2022 or 2023. That's the aim.